Hello everyone. In Zoho Invoice, you can create invoices, record payments, and perform various other functions for your business seamlessly. In this video, we'll learn how to add your organization or business details and also add multiple organizations inside Zoho Invoice. Here are the topics we will be covering for this video. Let's see how to sign up for Zoho Invoice. Go to the Zoho Invoice website and click the sign up button. Enter the necessary details. You have successfully signed up and logged in to your Zoho Invoice account. In the next page, you can configure your organization details. However, if you would like, you can choose to edit them. The organization name and location will be autofilled. Click here to add your organization address. The currency and time zone will be autofilled based on the location you selected during the sign up process. Once you enter the required details, click Get Started. Please note that you can change these details later in settings if required. You have now successfully set up your organization in the Zoho Invoice Quick Setup page. Let's see how you can further edit your organization profile. Go to Settings and select Organization Profile. You can click Upload Logo. Choose an image and upload your organization's logo. The logo will be reflected in all your documents. The organization name will be autofilled. You can edit the existing name if required. Select the appropriate industry for your business. You can select your business type from the drop down. The address will be auto populated based on the details you provided during the sign up process. You can mark this box to enter a different address for receiving payments. Details provided during the sign up process will be set as the primary contact. All the emails to your customers will be sent from the primary contact's email address. To add multiple contacts or change the existing one, click Configure Email Preferences. Choose the fiscal year that best suits your organization. The time zone will be auto populated depending on the business location. Choose a desired date format for your business. If you wish to display your company ID or tax ID on the invoice, you can add the details in the respective fields. Click Add Additional Field to add extra fields on your invoice. Once you make the changes, click Save to confirm the action. You have now fully set up your organization profile in Zoho Invoice. Once you complete entering your business details, you would need to configure the taxes for your business. Go to Settings and select Taxes. Click Plus New Tax to create a new one. Enter the tax name and rate. Mark the box if it is a compound tax, that is, charging the customer a second tax besides the primary tax. Then click Save to confirm the action. If you would like to enable reverse charge for your purchase and sales transactions, or track the sales of digital services to your overseas customers, go to Tax Settings and mark the respective boxes. You can also group multiple taxes by clicking the Plus New Tax Group button. You have now successfully configured tax for your organization. In Zoho Invoice, you can add multiple organizations to your account. This helps you manage different businesses in various locations using a single Zoho Invoice account. To add a new organization, select the drop down next to your organization name and click Manage. Click Plus New Organization. If you wish to clone the settings from an existing organization, Click the Clone option. To create a brand new organization, click Add New Organization. In the pop-up that appears, enter your organization name and select an organization to clone. Finally, choose the settings that you wish to clone and save it. You have successfully cloned the settings from your previous organization to set up a new one. You can now switch organizations by clicking on the profile icon at the top right corner. That brings us to the end of the video. 
We hope you've got a good understanding of how you can add your organization or business inside Zoho Invoice. If you have any queries, feel free to contact us at support at the rate zohoinvoice.com. If you found this video helpful, do like, share and subscribe. Click the bell icon to get further updates from us. Thank you.